the seventh similitude, or parable. They who repent must bring forth fruits worthy of repentance. After a few days I saw him in the plain where I had also seen the shepherds, and he said to me, What do you wish with me? I said to him, Sir, that you would order the shepherd who punishes to depart out of my house, because he afflicts me exceedingly. It is necessary, he replied, that you be afflicted, for thus, he continued, did the glorious angel command concerning you, as he wishes you to be tried. What have I done which is so bad, sir, I replied, that I should be delivered over to this angel? Listen, he said, your sins are many, but not so great as to require that you be delivered over to this angel. But your household has committed great iniquities and sins, and the glorious angel has been incensed at them on account of their deeds. For this reason he commanded you to be afflicted for a certain time that they also might repent and purify themselves from every desire of this world. When, therefore, they repent and are purified, then the angel of punishment will depart. I said to him, Sir, if they have done such things as to incense the glorious angel against them, yet what have I done? He replied, They cannot be afflicted at all unless you, the head of the house, be afflicted. For when you are afflicted, of necessity they also suffer affliction. But if you are in comfort, they can feel no affliction. Well, sir, I said, they have repented with their whole heart. I know too, he answered, that they have repented with their whole heart. Do you think, however, that the sins of those who repent are remitted? Not altogether, but he who repents must torture his own soul, and be exceedingly humble in all his conduct, and be afflicted with many kinds of affliction. And if he endure the afflictions that come upon him, he who created all things, and endued them with power, will assuredly have compassion, and will heal him. And this will he do when he sees the heart of any penitent pure from every evil thing. And it is profitable for you and for your house to suffer affliction now. But why should I say much to you? You must be afflicted, as the angel of the Lord commanded who delivered you to me. And for this, give thanks to the Lord, because he has deemed you worthy of showing you beforehand this affliction, that knowing it before it comes, you may be able to bear it with courage. I said to him, Sir, Be with me, and I will be able to bear all affliction. I will be with you, he said, and I will ask the angel of punishment to afflict you more lightly. Nevertheless, you will be afflicted for a little time, and again you will be reestablished in your house. Only continue humble and serve the Lord in all purity of heart, you and your children and your house, and walk in my commands, which I enjoin upon you, and your repentance will be deep and pure. And if you observe these things with your household, every affliction will depart from you. And affliction, he added, will depart from all who walk in these my commandments.